CML 2.1 is upon us, and you are probably wanting to know how you can upgrade uh, from CML 2.0 and not lose anything you may have done in CML 2.0. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you those steps. There are a few involved, so it's important to follow them carefully to make sure that your upgrade is successful. So this is CML 2.0, Cisco Modeling Labs 2.0. I'm currently logged into. This is the original 2.0.0. Um, this will also work if you happen to be running 2.0.1 as well. First thing you want to, uh, you're going to want to do, logged in as an administrator, is go to Tools and System Upgrade, and then click Choose File and choose the Controller RPM and then click Upload Image. And this, depending on your network bandwidth, can be quick, maybe a little bit slower. Uh, when it's all done, you get no confirmation that it actually did anything. Um, that's an issue with 2.0. Uh, in 2.1, subsequent upgrades, that'll be fixed. You'll actually see that the RPM was uploaded. But let's hope and uh, assume that it is. You can also use the... Uh, uh, secure copy protocol. You can secure copy it up to the server as well if you didn't want to do it through the web. Next thing you do is you go over to uh, cockpit, log in as sysadmin, uh, make sure you say reuse my password for privileged tasks, and come to the terminal. We're going to do a few things here in the terminal. First of all, let's sudo. Uh, sudo, I use capital dash capital E for bring in the environment, dash S to launch a shell. Give the password again. Now we're uh, at the root shell. So now what we're going to do is uh, shut down um, the running CML services and perform an OS update. And this only works if you have internet access. Uh, if you don't have internet access, um, the OS update it's good if you do it. Um, however, if, if you can't, we'll provide some of the core uh, essential packages as part of that RPM that you just uploaded. So we'll do a system CTL stop on viral2.target, and that will stop the uh, running CML. Next thing uh, you want to do is run the command tmux. Tmux will put you in this protected um, session, this terminal session. And I do this because Cockpit will update as part of these OS updates, and we don't want uh, we don't want necessarily that to kick us out. And then we will do a DNF update. This can take a, a while, depending on your, your internet access. Uh, when it's done updating all of its databases, it'll present us with a list of uh, things that we want to update. We say yes. Um, and that will take a good long time to download the packages, uh, apply the package updates, and, and all of that. Uh, so I'm going to pause the recording for a little bit so you don't have to just sit here and watch my screen scroll. And I'll be back with you as soon as this is done. Okay, so you see here that... Um, I got kicked out of cockpit. So the install was running and was bringing in the packages. I got kicked out. I reconnect and you know, oh, cockpit has changed. I get a new interface. So we know that that got updated. Um, but the good news is now that we're back in, um, now that we're back in uh, our terminal here, we can do a tmux attach um, to get back to our running package install. Um, so that'll allow you to um, allow you to continue to view the the progress of everything and make sure that all the packages are properly installed and updated successfully and you don't get any uh, errors at the end of it. Okay, so it's completed. Everything complete. Got yay, complete. Everything updated. So that's great. Now we've got the OS updated, um, but that's just part one of, of our saga. Next we come in cockpit uh, over to the CML2 tab up here. Uh, and then there will be under controller, you'll see this controller software upgrade, click the upgrade controller button. Now, if you didn't upload that RPM first, we're a bit problematic because at this point we'd have to start the controller, but the controller isn't going to start properly because of some package issues that we just uh, caused that will be fixed ultimately in the upgrade. So make sure you up, uh, update that uh, or upload that RPM before you begin this process. Then you click Upgrade, and you should come down here, and you can watch the progress of that happening. So this is going to actually install the CML 2.1 uh, portion of everything, and, 
and make sure everything is <clears throat> is configured correctly. Uh, this can take a little bit of time too. Uh, I'll again go ahead and pause and I'll come back with you when this is complete. Okay, you can see here, this is what we're looking for, complete and cleaning up upgrade process done. Fantastic. Now what we need to do is log out of cockpit. Log out of cockpit and log back in just so everything refreshes. Um, and then you'll come over here to the controller software upgrade and you should see this additional banner here. Additional packages need to be installed to finish the 2.1 upgrade. This is a critical step. You need to do this so that everything will start back up correctly. So you click the finish upgrade button. Yep, we're going to finish it. Uh, you can come down here and look at the results. Um, so what's going to happen? Uh, these Python packages should be uh, replaced. You should see a change to the kernel as well. All of that should install. And again, you should see um, this is complete, turning CPU mitigations off, setting the default kernel to be this one, and then cockpit should disconnect. What's essentially happened right now is a CML VM is reloaded. Um, and it will boot back up in CML 2.1, hopefully, uh, on the right kernel with the right packages. So let's make sure that all happens. All right, so as soon as I went back to my uh, CML um, URL, I'm presented with, I had to do a shift reload, I'm using Firefox, so you may have to clear your cache in order to get the new page, but this is what it should look like. So you know you're looking at CML 2.1 because the login UI is radically different than CML 2.0, plus you see the version number there. Um, I can log back in and I should see all of my uh, um, all of the labs that I, I previously had, everything should be migrated. Um, you may see this server disconnected um, uh, um, issue here, that should go away. Again, you could try also a shift reload, clear that, make sure that cache is cleared out on this main page um, and you should see all the web sockets and everything reset and you're good to go. You're in CML 2.1. Um, fully upgraded and you can take advantage of all of the new um, features and capabilities. Thanks.